Okay, now we're going to go ahead and install the extruder on the side of the printer. So, of course, you'll need the extruder mounted on the panel. And you'll need your two 10 by 32 bolts. So, first we'll go ahead and we'll get this threaded through here. And just set that in position. Grab your driver and get it installed. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and get it plugged in. And this fits into the E0 position, which, while well, you can barely see it, is kind of right there. Okay, this is E0 and E1. This is a spare Z axis. Uh, don't use this. If you really want to know what the spare Z axis is all about, ask on the forum. And I figure since I'm here, I might as well go ahead and install this little cover plate here. So, you're going to need two 10 by 32 hex screws and a blank panel. And for those of you that are interested in doing things like dual extrusion, this is where you would put the secondary extruder. You can order one from Simi CNC and I'll send it to you. Or you can go on Simi CNC's GitHub page, download the CAD drawing for the printer, import the drawing for the extruder side plate into your favorite CAD program of choice, turn it into a printable model, and then just print one. And that way, really, the only thing you need to do is supply a stepper motor and the easy R extruder. Simple as that. And in fact, CME CNC has been nice enough to add a hole right there for an additional hot end whip. So you can do that. And there we go. That's done. Ready for the next task.